Look at this. What we've found hanging out around another little river system. Two hyenas are talking to each other. Hold on one sec. Let's just get back so we can get a better view. I'm sure there's a carcass in there. The other evening, Dave and I were out doing our first night test. Oh, I must tell you about that. I can't believe I haven't done that already. We were out doing our first night test and we were just testing all of the infrared and everything like that. Obviously, now we've started to do our Facebook lives each and every single night. And I saw a hyena popping out of here, looking very fat and very dirty. And the two of them, both of these hyenas, have bits of rotten meat around their face. So there's definitely a carcass in there. I wonder what it is. Little bit of a sign of submission from this hyena. Tail slightly tucked. And then some vocalizations from the hyena on the left. I'm just going to wait for a tractor to come past and then we'll reposition and see if we can get a view of what it is that they're... Oh, here comes another hyena out of there. Ah, oh, there's definitely something that they're feeding on. I wonder what it is. Oh, there's another one there as well. So there's four hyena, five hyena here. What have you been feeding on, you mischiefs? And one of the other balloon vehicles on its way back. Cool. There they go. Let's go and have a look at what they what these hyenas are up to. I'm having to use my side mirrors a lot more these days, making sure I don't crash into a car. Hello guys. What have you been snacking on? You've attracted the attention of vultures, whatever it is you've got. I'm going with hippo. What do you all think? What do you think the hyenas have got in this river? Hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. What's your guess? I'd say the odds are quite strongly in the favor of hippo. Mm -hmm. But hyenas like to drag their meat into water. So it doesn't have to be a hippopotamus. Could be a wildebeest, could be a zebra, could be a topi, unlikely but possible. What do you think the hyenas are storing down there? We will have a chance to go and have a look. I'm just going to wait for the vehicles to have had their chance to see, and then we'll make our way in. Senzo, what do you think? What have they been feeding on in there? I would say the fact that they've been here for two days speaks strongly in favor of something quite large. So while we wait for our opportunities to make our way through that narrow stretch of road where we can see what it is they've got, let me tell you the thrilling tale of the night test. So on my way back, the headlights died on Mila, which is our third arrival in terms of vehicles. So unfortunately we had to drive back using the infrared, which was quite a unique experience. Pretty sure it's a first that if anybody's ever driven up the hill to Angama in using only infrared on their monitors. It was quite an experience. There's a youngster, still quite dark, covered in mud, but you can see much smaller in size and the spots still quite close together, indicative of a young hyena. And all of them looking very fat and very happy. Not that I have ever seen a hyena here that doesn't look fat and happy, I have to be honest. So there's six hyena. Roshni, your guess is an antelope that they've been eating. Entirely possible, Roshni. One of the bigger ones, perhaps? Something something like a topi or a coke's hartebeest. And I apologize, there's plenty of noise, but somebody else has guessed buffalo. Also a possibility, a very strong possibility. Flat? Am I getting that right? Did you say flat? <laughs> oh, fluff. Fluff, 
you, you suggest buffalo. Again, possible. Let's get a bit closer. Edge our way in. Perhaps we'll get lucky and win the, the game of musical vehicles. Hello. Ashes. Ashes, you say, maybe another hyena. Mm, we've seen it before. Brent had that happen not so long ago on the live safari. So another hyena is a possibility. Hyenas are not above cannibalism. In fact, most animals out here are not above ca cannibalism in terms of predators, if they're hungry enough. But hyenas in particular are not all that fussy. Oh, it's all right, little one. I'm sure this is the same clan of hyenas that den somewhere at the base of the mountain. We hear them calling all evening. Jumbo! Don't worry everyone, the opportunity will come. <laughs> Hi buddy! Now our Lara Moore, you want to know if hyenas will groom each other after feeding like lions. Hi buddy! And the answer to that is yes, but not in the same way lions do. Let's go, Sins. Let's grab the opportunity while we can. A lot of the time it's a sign of a submissive hyena trying to impress a more dominant one. So it doesn't really, it's not done with the same level of affection that you see with lions. All of the hyenas now running up out of the drainage line. A lot of the time it's to basically try and appease a more dominant hyena and it's not really a cleaning method. They're not particularly concerned with their hygiene, hence the nickname hygiene that we often give them. They like to lie in mud, they don't mind being covered in rotten meat at all. Oh, there must be lots more in there. I'm sure these are all lower ranking individuals and have been waiting their turn to have a go at this carcass. All now moving off. About the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm sure there are more down in the dip. Let's just wait patiently for our opportunity to go and see. Just like this hyena, all of them waiting patiently for their opportunity to go and feed. Definitely still watching what's going on down there. Oh, if only, but only I'd looked in here the other evening, I would have answers for you. But at that point I was trying to get home with rapidly dimming headlights. Hey guys, uh, we've just got our opportunity to move forward. Shall we head forward quickly and have a quick look before more vehicles come? Ah, wait, let's repos... Cursed, can I turn around quickly? We've got our answer. But I'm gonna see it better from another angle. I'm not gonna give away just yet what it is. No hyenas behind me? No. Nope. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, can we make it? Yeah, we can. Oh, yum. And there we have our answer. A hippopotamus it was. A deceased hippopotamus. Could it be that this hyena clan specializes in hunting the hippo around here? Or is it just that space is at a premium and the hippos are becoming weaker and injured in fights? Oh, amazing sound effects. Sorry to those of you with a bit of a sensitive stomach. This is not all that appealing to look at. But it is fascinating and it is the way of the world out here. And at least this hippo isn't going to waste. Oh dear. We are going to have to move. Hold on, Sens. Okay. Let's just wait for this vehicle to come past. Hi, buddy. 
Okay, let's not drive into the pond and join the hippo. I would prefer to avoid that. There we go. Back down once again. Now there's enough space for vehicles to sneak around me. No, we have our answer. I wonder. Perhaps it is just the Mara River, of course, is very, very low for this time of year, which means that there's a lot of fights happening between hippos as they fight for space. And Brent and myself and Dave actually witnessed one of those fights not so long ago. I'm going to sit and watch the way that this plays out as they have a little squabble over food. Let's go back to Tristan with a tumba.